My parents won't let me get dreads. This is for the young man. Who want to get dreads or wigs, but your parents or parent would not let you. I, I can, I have empathy for you. Let me tell you a story. You see, I'm from Haiti. My father, you know, traditional Haitian man, believe. In, he was okay with the Air Force because back in his days, he had an Air Force. But when I came in America in 1998, I'm sorry, 1997, um, back in the 90s, Wars braids, I've been working. Braids was very popular. And uh, it was a stereotype that people with braids was you know, people who was in gangs, you know, the bad guys. So I did have an air for, but my dad, he would not let me get braids. If I mentioned it to him, he would cut it. And he he done it multiple times. Like he would just cut my hair. So in school, all the kids, a lot of kids had braids. And with me being dark skin, you know, having the messed up teeth and all that stuff, if I had braids, that would have helped me out a lot with my self-esteem. I would have been cooler. I would have a better high school experience, middle school experience. Uh, I did have a lot of effort and I used to pick it out, but he would not, like I had sisters, they, any of them could have done it for me, but my dad, that's like, one thing I really regret that I miss out of in, in that era. Um, I did go to foster care and in like my last year of high school, I had braids when, you know, when I went to foster care, but I, by that time, everybody was switching over to dreads. Um, but I miss that era to be cool. It will have like helped me out a lot. Uh, so I was really hardworking for that. I mean, I was a good kid. I was not into gang. You know, I was not, I, I was not into trouble. But him not letting me get braids till today as an adult, I was like, damn, that would have really helped me out while I was in school. It would have made a big difference. I would have been cooler. I would have looked more attractive. You know, and I was a good kid, you know. So, I'd have empathy for you. Now, as a parent, I have two kids. They got dreads, you know, I don't care. Uh, they got dreads. If they ever want to cut it, that's up to them. But they got dreads, and it's, you know, they got long hair. Uh, I just think long hair is cool. And they seem to love their hair, you know. Uh, as a parent... My daddy, he had good intention, uh, especially coming from America. I mean, especially coming from Haiti, you know, coming to America, he had good intention. He just wanted me to have a clean cut. And not just him, a lot of traditional Haitian men, they like that too. And then women, they want their hair to be, you know, they can like do weave or whatever, but they don't want them, he didn't want them, my sister to color their hair or nothing like that. So he had good intention. Um, he tried to protect me. He actually did a good job protecting me, you know, keeping me away from the bad group of friends. You know, he's trying to get me to have a good image. You know, even, you know, now I grow up, I do whatever, you know, I had, you know, now I'm getting old, but I had like regular dress and everything like that. And, you know, he accepted as, as, you know, when I grew up, you know, I did what I want. But when I used to live with him, I really regret that. So, uh, the only thing I can tell you is you're living with your parents. They have good intentions. I understand why they may not want you to have dreads, 
why they may not want you to have wigs because of image uh i know you're a good kid probably have good grades you know you just wanna you don't want people to define you by your hairstyle uh your parents been there done that like i told you i i was on your shoes i was in your position and it it would have helped me out <coughs> excuse me um what's your parents because you know police and stuff they see young black guy with dreads wigs you know or even long hair they're already thinking oh he in a gang you know he he know so your parents mean well now the only advice i can give you is you just have to uh do your time at your parents house and sadly when you grow up you do whatever you want with your hair but now the only thing you can do the only thing i could have done there was no convincing my dad you know with him being traditional haitian man there was no convincing him i couldn't even bring it up to him um uh, there's no way and it broke my heart till today but that was his house that was his rule i was a minor oh well i still regret it um i was not able to participate in that trend during that era people had braids or cornrows you know even that's like one of my <laughs> biggest regrets not having to that would have helped me out a lot um but anyway as an adult i was able to have braids you know then i have just i did what i want with my hair so sadly your parents mean well you know they don't want you to color your hair they don't want you to do this do that all you can do is just wait patiently high school is only four years um middle school is only four years so you got a long way to go me i was in middle school i, I mean I, I was living with the guy uh actually in high school in 10th grade i was in foster care so i was able to get braids um and it helped a different it made me look more attractive more cool but i was still a good kid um that was around 2003 and that's when the little ones started having dreads everybody started having dreads uh, when I went to college, everybody had dreads in college in around 2006, 2005, 2006, everybody, really a lot of guys started having them little two twists twenty. it, and a lot of dudes just having dreads. Uh, so I missed, I missed out of that era with having braids. Um, so just listen to your parents and I'm sorry you're going to that. I can, ha I, I have empathy for you, but yeah that's all you can do sorry man